Good morning, Redwood, and happy Monday. Let's do cooking in the kitchen. For lunch today, we're having chicken tenders and Dutch waffle, broccoli, baby carrots, peaches, and pears, and your choice of milk. Happy birthday! And we have a couple of birthdays to announce today. Happy birthday to Eduardo Jose Jose and Gabby Martinez. Both of you enjoy your birthdays and come on down to the office for your birthday pencil. Okay, got a few announcements here. Uh, let's see. For those involved, the WIDA test starts today. And for everybody, the computer lab is closed this week because of testing. And so Mrs. Hall will be coming to classrooms instead to do some work in classrooms. I know one thing she'll be working on is uh, the teacher, or, sorry, nope, not teacher appreciation, that's later in the year, school board member appreciation video project that she wants to present to the school board on Thursday. So just a reminder to all the classrooms that if you've got a project in mind or a card or a poster or whatever, um, for school board appreciation, that's happening this Thursday. We'll present those items to the school board. So thanks for your help with that. Uh, boys basketball practice is tonight, fourth graders. Um, I don't know if I said that in the right order or not, because I see it's written down in goofy order on my notes. So fourth grade boys basketball practice tonight after school. There we go. Also tonight, art club after school for grades three through five. Blizzard of Books. I've seen a lot of classrooms enjoying Blizzard of Books. I'm seeing lots of snow cones. I'm seeing some classes go for their second hundred. Um, I know Mrs. Smith's class is going for a second hundred. Miss Lorenz's class just got their second hundred. There are probably some others I haven't heard about yet or I've forgotten because that happens when you get older. Your brain starts to forget things. And so congratulations. This is the last week, though. So get, if, you, if you're earning those hundred books or that second hundred of books, get those in. Uh, let's see here. What else? What else? What else? What else? I don't see anything else on my list. Mrs. Babb is out today, so Mrs. Robles is by herself in the office. Mrs. Quist is at uh, teacher training right now, and so it's Mrs. Robles and I running the office and the building, so thanks for your help in advance because uh, we'll probably need it. Um, lots of people out sick. Hey, do us a favor. Uh, if you're not feeling well, or if you are feeling well, either way, make sure when you're done uh, with restrooms, blowing your nose, you're keeping all that stuff in the trash can, washing your hands, keeping those nice and clean. Um, don't put toilet paper in the trash can if you've used it, you know, to, you know, because that goes in the toilet and, you know, and it goes away. Um, but I'm thinking about tissues, you know, getting snotty again because you've been blowing your nose. Keep the germs away. We don't want any extra germs here. Our school's been pretty healthy and we want to keep it that way. Uh, let's see, what else, what else, what else? I'm sure a lot of you are sleepy if you stayed up and watched Super Bowl. I, I didn't watch it, I'll be honest. It just That's not one of the things I enjoy. And um, I really wasn't that excited about commercials this year, so I watched some other TV shows and read a book and that kind of thing. But if you're an Eagles fan, at least for the day, hey, congratulations. If you're a Patriot fan, uh, Drake, Drake Smith, I'm, I'm looking at you because I know you're for sure a big Patriots fan. Um, there's always next year. So... Hope you enjoyed that. I have heard there's an issue, um, increasing issue again with the lunchroom and breakfast. So if you're having breakfast in the morning, you need to be in class on time. On time is by no later than 820. That's when we do the cutoff. It doesn't matter if you're at school, mom dropped you off on time. If you're not in your classroom at 820, you're late. And so sitting down and eating breakfast and taking until 825, 830, 840 is not okay. You're wasting learning time. And it's important that we are here and using all of our minutes of learning time to get better as readers, as writers, as thinkers, as mathematicians, as artists, as athletes, as musicians, and everything else that we learn here at school. So I don't want to hear anybody saying to Mrs. Robles or anybody else, well, I was here on time. I was just eating breakfast. No, you weren't. You were late. If you're not in your classroom by 20, you're late. So if you're down in the lunchroom, yes, I'm being pretty serious right now. If you're in the lunchroom eating breakfast and playing around, knock it off. Get out of there, eat your breakfast, and go. This morning was waffles, juice, and milk. It doesn't take three hours to eat waffles, juice, and milk. Trust me, I've eaten a lot of food, and I know that. Okay, there, done with that. Uh, last week I did the Can I Play 2 read aloud. It was a lot of fun. I saw some of you had a chance to watch that. It's still on YouTube. I won't take it away if you want to see it. Um, later on, or if you want to watch it again, it's just on our normal uh, Redwood YouTube page, 
or channel. I'm also thinking about doing a chapter book. Someone suggested I try and do a chapter book where I do like a, an installment a week or something. So here's my thought. I, I'd like some feedback from kids or grown-ups or anybody. Um, picture book is easy. I, I take pictures of the pictures in the book, and then I read it, and I show the pictures. Well, a chapter book doesn't usually have pictures in it. So do I just show myself reading the chapter book? What do I come up with for a chapter book as I'm doing a read aloud if I'm recording it like this? I'd love to hear your feedback and your suggestions because I've got a book already picked out I'd like to do it with, but I, I don't know what that would look like. So I'd like your, your information. Okay, whoo, that was a lot of stuff. At this time, would you please stand for the pledge? From Miss Nevin's class, to help us with the pledge, we have... Tasia Mariana. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. That's funny. <laughs> Thank you, Pledge Helpers. That was a great job. And everyone have a great day, learners.